All right, what's up everyone? So uh, Joe Sullivan put up a post about depression in the bench press, and it's a good post, uh, not because of the reactions of everyone, but because it got people discussing things. And I don't want to argue the semantics about retraction and depression. I'm just going to talk about what he talked about real quick and touch on a couple ways that you can understand the, the depression versus the retraction. Because you got to remember we have two schools of lifting here between gear lifting and raw lifting, and the constant retraction and the elbow drawn in really focus a little more on the gear lifting, which is going to spring them off the bottom and then their arm presses. So if you're completely retracted, so this is all the way back as far as in your pack, your pec is elongated. It's hard to press with the pec. You're springing off with the suit or the gear and then locking out with the chest if you're arm pressing. If you're doing that raw, you're going to have a really hard time coming off the chest. What he's emphasizing is that you have to slightly protract. The scapulas have to slide along that chest wall a little bit in order for you to press optimally with your pec. Now, where things got lost was the way it was worded because people were like, well, you have to retract or you should retract and you should depress and blah, blah, blah. Too many different sides. Should we retract the scapula as well as the press them? Yes, but not on the press. That's the difference between geared and raw lifting is we want to depress them more than we retract them. We have them retracted to get the chest up nice and tall, stir them up when we unrack the bar. So I have this kind of ridiculous setup here. I'm gonna show you two ways to practice the depression over the retraction. I've got some bands entered behind micro minis. Uh, I have the rack here, unfortunately, around to hold the camera. Otherwise, you can have someone loop the mini band around the center and just give it a little bit of tension on the way back because what we're gonna learn is to pull that out. So you hear this often, pull the bar out, don't press the bar out, and that's why these bands are there. That pulling of the bar out is the depression of the scapula, activating the lats, anchoring your shoulder in place for a stable press pattern. So, coming through here, we're lining up, and what I'm going to do, you see I have the arm out and pull it forward. So I already have tension in my lats pulling that forward. We're going to turn into the bar, and I like to unwrap my hips up because it locks me onto my upper traps. So here I'm retracted, I'm pulling down and pulling out. There's my retraction point, I drop down. Then I'm gonna ease up that retraction as I lower the bar a little bit, and I'm gonna slightly protract, which means I'm gonna let the arms flare out slightly to come up. That's why I have a small plate so you can see that. So then I might reset the retraction on the way down, protract slightly to come back up. Now, I'm gonna remove the greasy bands. That's a bit much, don't swing shot on anybody. If you don't have bands, and you don't have a partner who can hold them, you can use the bow tie, Donnie Thompson's bow tie, for the same thing. It's going to force you to depress down. You're going to have to lock and depress down. So with this bow tie, the same thing. We will retract and depress to unwrap the bar, slightly let go of that retraction as we come down so we can launch that slingshot off the chest and come back up. We do need a little flare of the elbow to do that. If you stay packed and retracted, that's all the press you got and that's all shoulders and triceps. There's no pec there. We do need that humerus to slide forward a little bit. We don't want to make it excessive. We don't want to go like this. That's where the semantics is lost. People think protraction, I think excessive protraction. Slight. Let the scapula flatten out so you can use the pecs to press up. So, same thing. Lock in your position. See the force of my body actually lifted off the pad, granted it's slight, but that's what we want. We want as much force into the bar as possible, which means a slight, slight protraction. So, practice that with the bow tie, practice that with the bands behind, you can lift into the bar and have a training partner hold them. If you don't have bands, you can simply just have a training partner constantly pulling the opposite direction of the bar and you're not going to resist against that. But don't argue semantics, find what works best for you, but understand the argument without speaking in absolutes for the most part of what's the goal there. The goal is to have a stable shoulder on the way down and a strong shoulder on the way back up, or a strong press on the way back up, not just shoulders. So thank you.